everybody Ann here sitting in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you today and it's going to get hot today it's gonna heat up so I need to take advantage of the cool morning and get out there and split some of that wood up pull the poison ivy vines off of it and see if I can increase my wood supply remember all this this right here it's poison ivy so I'm gonna have to strip this off split it up and stack it over there this stuff is just horrible. I'm going to have to remember not to, you know, scratch my face or whatever. Oh, now, you guys, I'm almost tempted just to strip all the bark off of here. Because this is going to take forever. But I don't, just don't want to burn this with all these poison ivy vines. You know, I mean, <laughs> if it bothers your skin, oh, I imagine it's going to bother your lungs. Yeah, well, I'll just get it done. Stop complaining. done but you guys I got one more and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this one I'm tired you can tell and this one is shaped funny oops but I want my glasses so I'm gonna leave this one for another day when I've got more energy because I'm afraid I'm just gonna end up hurting myself not only do you gotta split it but you gotta stack it I'm starting by putting the bigger pieces but I couldn't get any smaller down there. Um, they won't fit in the wood burning stove, but I can always come back and split them later or even burn them outside on the fire pit. I just got to stack all this up. Fun. I made a little bit of progress today. 
not bad, not bad. I still got that to go. And yeah, I save all these little wood chips. And I even save the bark that comes off sometimes, but I'm not saving it this time just because, you know, poison ivy. Um, because I like to use that for kindling. So I use this first, some of this. Um, I might even use this before I use this. I don't know. I'm going to have to remember what's what. So I'm just going to cover this up and hopefully keep adding to it. And since it was hot outside, I went ahead and washed my hair. Oh, it feels so much better. Look at that. Chicken lunch time. I did this all with the Fiskars X11. It's a 17 inch ax and you guys have seen me use it before. It's a wonderful tool. Yeah, it needs some maintenance, that's for sure. But I love it and I can't use one of those big long axes. I just can't because it's too heavy. I cannot lift it over my head or even over my shoulder and swing it right. So what I have to do is I have to get something to elevate whatever I'm splitting up on so that I can just raise it all the way up over my head. And I mean, when I do it, it is like literally like all the way up like this and then all the way down. And um, I stand with my legs pretty far apart because a couple times I almost took my knee out <laughs> because I'll follow through and it'll go in between my legs and then I won't take my kneecap out. So that's awesome. Anyhow, I'm 56 years old. I'm going to be 57 this year. And, you know, I've got arthritis. i got joint pain. It's been raining lately. And I haven't felt like doing anything. And it was getting hot. It, it got up to about, when I was doing that, about 84. Felt like 88 or something like that, whatever. Um, but I did it. And I did it because I knew I had to, you know. I don't want to depend on other people to do my things, if you know what I mean. And I found that the more I do things, even if I work through discomfort or pain or, you know, feeling cranky or whatever, um, I get better and better at it. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to swing that axe because I hadn't done it in months but it comes back and I was surprised that I was still able to do it really, really well. So I'm getting stronger, my back is getting stronger, my arms, my arms are getting stronger, my shoulders are getting stronger. Um, the only thing is my grip is still not very good, but this is has a very comfortable grip on it and I love it. I love the way this is shaped because then when I'm swinging it, my, my hand doesn't slip through. And so whoever gave this to me, it was a gift. Somebody gifted me this. Thank you so much because I absolutely love it. But my point is, is you just gotta keep moving. You gotta keep doing something. As soon as you stop moving and stop doing and stop enjoying your life, even doing things that maybe aren't so enjoyable, but I enjoy splitting wood. I totally dig it. But if you just kind of stop and lay around, then that's all you're going to be able to do. Now, of course, there's some people that are disabled. They couldn't possibly, you know, swing an axe like I just did. But um, it's keeping me going. And I was talking to my mom the other day on the phone. I, I needed some mom advice. <laughs> and she gave me some great mom advice. Um, but I told her, you know what? I didn't really start learning and growing as a woman until... I moved out here and I started living this way. I feel like a kid every day. It's it's like a camping in the, well, not really in the woods. I mean, you know, I got neighbors and everything, but it's like a camping experience every single day of my life. And I'm having fun, I'm raising chickens, I'm doing things that I never even dreamed of doing. And every day is like a new experience for me. So I'm like a kid and I'm, I'm learning and growing as I go. And it's just like, I, I feel like I finally sort of grown up. Sort of grown up, maybe a little bit. I still got a lot of kid in me. Um, and you can probably tell that through my videos because I just have a sense of wonder about everything out here and everything I do. <sighs> so anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.